Hello, my name is Pontus Stegberg and I'm a professional photographer. I come from Sweden, but I recently moved here to beautiful Norway to further pursue my passion for photography. I live in a small town called Åndalsnes, which is in the beautiful Romsdal region in the northwestern Norway. I work as an outdoor commercial photographer, which means that I work with brands to produce content for the marketing. I do both from like more editorial content in magazines to more like traditional commercial photography you see in social media and ads and websites and so on. My interest in photography all started when I got a 15 year old camera from my grandpa. It had two zoom lenses and a two gigabyte memory card. And I was obsessed with how I could photograph the surroundings and make them very beautiful in an area I thought was not that interesting and then show it to my, uh, to my family and my friends. I photographed everything back then. I photographed everything from the, from the small mushrooms in the forest to the vacuum cleaners we had at home. After this, I took uh, more and more pictures and I've had to buy terabytes of uh, hard drives every year to uh, keep up with the space. I would describe my style as a more photojournalistic approach to commercial photography, where I usually set up a scenario and then just let that happen. I just let the people interact with each other and with nature and then uh, photograph that. I uh, um, very, very usually I don't work with professional models, so uh, work with normal people and my, my friends and the athletes and uh, it's very important to just keep it as, as casual as possible so that everyone is uh, relaxed. I find that the best way possible. My inspiration within photography depends on which uh, genre I shoot, but uh, my ultimate goal is that the viewer of the image feels something when, when they see it. Um, and uh, as one who photographs landscapes, portraits and uh, outdoor activities, it's also very important to me that the moment happening before the camera is, uh, will, have, will never happen again. It's, it's the only time and it's my job to, to capture that and let that moment live on. And uh, this is especially true when it comes to nature and climate change. The, the glaciers are creeping up every year and we are not sure if we can still ski uh, all the way down at fjord level in, in 20 years. My dream project that I'm hopefully starting this autumn is to get a unique um, series of landscapes images from the seven most iconic mountains of the area. I would like to get a picture of each mountain that stands out from the rest and that lives on. There are thousands of photographers here every year and, and that take beautiful images every day. And uh, my dream and my goal is to take uh, at least one that stands out and that people will remember, even after uh, social media and uh, Facebook. As a local, I hope to get lucky with the conditions and photograph them with some interesting light. Maybe some northern lights, maybe some stars, maybe some uh, rainbows or uh, snowfall. One time I was in uh, Chamonix and uh, hoping to photograph uh, Lac Blanche with the uh, mountains uh, in the backgrounds and the Milky Way over them. Unfortunately, both the first night and the second night started up with uh, serious cloud coverage. Yeah. But just before I was to give up on the second night, uh, the clouds started to uh, disappear. And right before uh, the clouds disappeared, they formed into a smiley, which kind of was like uh, nature gave me a sign. If I could somewhat, somehow, get something similar to that, I would be very satisfied with my images from Romsal. My best tip or hack, as we say nowadays, uh, is to take a lot of images and then uh, spend a lot of time editing the images uh, in front of the computer. By going uh, through them thoroughly, you will quickly find out what works and what won't. There is nothing more frustrating than uh, spending hours upon hours uh, editing uh, bad images where you wish you had uh, done something different. So hopefully you will reflect on uh, why they are bad or how, how you could improve them next time. Uh, for example, uh, maybe don't cut off the top of the mountain or when you sit in front of the computer and you realize you uh, hadn't um, cleaned your lens or your sensor before doing an entire commercial shoot on F22. There are things like that you learn through just sitting in front of the computer and learning it the hard way. Unfortunately, I haven't found any short tracks or hacks uh, in either life in general or, or photography, so I uh, do it by the old uh, learning uh, by doing way. So if you find out a secret way, I'm uh, very keen to hear about it, so uh, please <laughs> hit me up. Thanks.